Hi there copiers, happy Friday. It's the 8th of January, which means it's time for my update. Uh, I'm stuck in South Africa, it is very hot. That means that my laptop isn't handling very well, so the video today will be a little bit laggy. Uh, you might also hear my children in the background, but that's life in the great lockdown. All right, jumping into the weekly update. Uh, so far this month and the year to date number, they're gonna be the same. So we've got a return of 3.19% so far. Uh, this is very good, but let's see what the rest of the month brings. And since 2015, my running total on eToro is 604%. Uh, so if you'd invest, invested $100,000 in me back then, five years later, you would now have $705,000, which is pretty good. Um, on top of this, uh, my AUM is still climbing. The number of copiers joining me uh, is growing. This is great. Uh, I'm I'm happy about it because obviously I get a benefit from eToro, but also it means that there are more people making money off of my uh, my strategy and my portfolio. All right. So looking at the the week that's just gone, it's been a a crazy crazy week. Uh, so by now everyone knows about the madness in the U.S. Um, but ultimately, we now have a, a U.S. government that is primarily controlled by the Democrats, who are liberals. And uh, this means that stocks associated with that type of rule have climbed in the, in the past you know, few days or so. So these are things that people have anticipated. There will be really liberal policies around. So things like um, renewable energy, solar, uh, marijuana stocks. And also they have, they've made noises about uh, constraining uh, or reviewing the rule of the fangs, you know, Apple, Facebook, um, Amazon, etc. So those those stocks took a little a little bit of a dive. Um, cryptos they continue to rise. Obviously, uh, the big daddy Bitcoin has done a fantastic job through the past week, so thirty nine percent up. But it's not the only big gainer in there. Uh, Ethereum's also done very well. Stellar's done fantastically well. Um, we'll see whether this continues. Uh, in terms of Alibaba, I did uh, create a, a write-up about Alibaba. It has become more risky for all the reasons in that post. Um, I've been trading it a little bit more short-term, just taking a little bit of profit there, uh, taking advantage of the volatility. I might continue to do that. I anticipate the price climbing towards Alibaba's earnings early in February. So um, I do plan on holding at least some of my Alibaba uh, portfolio, um, but it has become more risky, so I might trim that significantly. Uh, in terms of vaccines, vaccines have now been rolled out to a decent proportion of the population, depending on where you live. So that's uh, really uh, good for the for the bulls out there. And uh, but there's also a lot of fear around the new strains of the virus. Uh, so the South African strain, the UK strain. Um, I would caution people of pa about panicking too much. I think there is a lot of panic already. But if you listen to what the actual scientists are saying. There's very little that's been proven in a laboratory. We know there are different strands, but we're not completely sure, 100% uh, sure of the impact of these new strains. Um, but that is affecting the market right now, obviously. Uh, Trump was locked out of his social accounts, uh, so that was quite interesting. So he lost a bit of his, his own personal platform there. And Micron, which is one of the, the first stocks to post earnings in, in my portfolio, um, posted really good earnings last night and they raised their forecast and so we have seen the if i look for it here we've seen that it's going to rise nicely pre-markets and uh, chip makers will rise together with micron um, because of anticipation of them all doing well if one of them has done well okay so and then in this this coming week um i will be doing a quarterly update i think on thursday for my largest copiers I will do a repeat of the session for all of my copiers, but it, it'll take me a bit of a while, a bit of time to prepare that. So probably two weeks out for that, I will review everything that's happened in the quarter that's gone and anticipate what the next quarter could bring. Uh, earnings season is going to begin in earnest. So you can see down the right hand side here, a number of companies um, will be reporting soon. It, it almost always kicks off with the banks. Um, more stimulus is likely to be on the way. And this is going to drive the markets even higher. Trump may be removed from office before he <laughs> he's supposed to leave, but you know we'll see. Cryptos they could keep rising, they could consolidate. Nobody can tell you what is going to happen with cryptos in the short term, um, but I am very bullish on 
Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I have taken a little bit of profit on each of those, a small amount, but I will continue to hold what I have. Um, I think that there will be an extension to the financial stocks rally. So these kinds of companies, the uh, financial powerhouses, BlackRock, JP Morgan, etc., they've done well through the past few days, and I believe that they could continue to do well. Um, I anticipated this a little bit. Uh, I don't trade these types of stocks very often, but I bought a little bit of JP Morgan recently because of the volatility. Um, they are a very large investment bank, so there's going to have been a lot of trading, which means a lot of profit for them. I think that given the progress with the vaccine rollouts, we might see a rotation into travel, hospitality, and other lockdown losers. I don't know how quickly this is going to happen, but it will happen. Um, it might happen over a matter of months, um, a year. Uh, I don't know the exact time frame, uh, but I have been hedged against that for quite a long time. And I think the market is also going to anticipate uh, great retail earnings. So companies like Apple, Amazon, Shopify, etc. They've done very well through the past quarter because people have been doing more shopping than ever. Uh, not just because of the lockdown, because it's, but because it is the Christmas, Boxing Day, Singles Day, day etc. Uh, sale time. And during that period, people buy more than usual. So I think quite a few of those businesses are going to be setting records, which will be interesting. Okay, I did it very quickly today, uh, but that's a wrap for this week. And I look forward to talking to all of you next week. Cheers, bye.